Morning everyone, I'm John and this is Row Road Up Restore. How are you all doing? So in this video we will be removing the front end, uh, removing the forks, taking the headstock bearings out and giving them a good checking over. And then hopefully we can get the frame ready for paint. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so this is another day. I hope you enjoyed the music in the last clips. 
I had to put music on it because I did put some really good narration all over the videos as I was recording them but when everything was took to bits I realised the microphone wasn't plugged in so hopefully the microphone is plugged in now so what we're going to do next is cut all the bits off the frame that we don't need like these rear foot rest stangers I don't need those uh, put a bolt in that side because that side's for the exhaust and I don't want to cut that off so what I'm going to do is cut across there and cut across there remove that bit leave that angle bit on in case I can get the uh, main stand back on but sometimes when you put a four into one exhaust you can't get the main stand on but if I can get it on I will get it on because it comes in handy for maintaining the chain and everything else so let's put you well out of the way because sparks are going to be flying so I'm going to put you over there somewhere and zoom in oh yes and before I get the angle grinder out get my new leather apron just stick some shoelaces on there stitched a bit of material around there And then I've got my own blacksmith apron. Not that I'm anywhere near as good as a blacksmith. <laughs> Not that I'm anything like a blacksmith. Can't even tie a knot behind my back. Right then, let's do this. So on this bit, I just want to cut those two tabs off. Okay, let's get this bolt out of the way. I'll try not to cut anything else apart from what I want to cut. So I've grinded these two bits down. What I'm going to do is just fill that up with weld. Same with that one. Don't know if you can see it. Zoom in the best I can. There's that hole there what needs filling with weld, and there's a hole under there. Uh, the other side I've just I've just the other side I've just moved off it's got a metal plate on it that looks all right so uh, what next yes you probably did notice on the last video towards the end of the video the uh, picture was a bit weird I put a new lens in the uh, Sony camera but I didn't like it so I've uh, bought this camera what you're looking through now which is a bridge camera and I can zoom in and stuff and it's a lot uh, better for zooming in and stuff like that but it, it is a bit uh, but it is a bit tricky on the focusing and the uh, lighting so be with me till I get used to it and please please leave a comment on your feedback what you think of the picture right then so winter's back so we're back in the shed and now it's time to do some degreasing so let's get on with it 
So just dab some white spirits all over everything. I'm just using the old fashioned turpin times rather than buying a can of spray of degreaser for 10 quid because it's just basically the same stuff. Why buy a 10 pound can of spray when you can buy a bottle of turps for one pound? Let's get it on there, it's soaking a bit. Leave it for about 10 minutes or so. And then come back and do it all over again. And then wipe it off. Just splash it on and rub it all over. Okay then, so that's everything all degreased. Now it's time to get the wire brush and the angle grinder. Get some, get rid of all these bits of rust in the nuts and crannies with what's left of my wire brush. Okay then, so that's the wire brushing done down this part. So now I can fill these two holes up with the uh, weld. There's a little dent there as well, so I'll probably fill that in with weld and hopefully get it all nice and smooth. But I'm not going to leave the camera on while I'm welding because of the bright, powerful light. Okay then, so we've got it to there. That'll do for me. Just put a little bondo, whatever you call it, bumper in those little bits. I'm quite happy with that nice little knuckle. Because if you remember it was just uh, just cut off there, wasn't it? And just cut off there. So there was that big hole in that pipe tube. Now it looks like that. Wicked. Perfectly splendid. Now we've just got to uh, get the frame ready for primer. Right then, let's get some etch primer on this baby before it starts to rust. dilemma of what colour to do. I don't know whether to do it green, lime green, white, red, black, gold which I haven't got yet. Uh, you know, I just don't know what colour to do it. So if you guys could give me your thoughts in the uh, comments, be much appreciated. So no, anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been knowledgeable. Hope it's been entertaining. Uh, yeah, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. I see you in another life, brother.